At Multiwing, we produce actual fans, and as all other moving products, they produce noise. But how much noise does a specific actual fan produce, and how can you measure it? My name is Tony Stano, and I'm an engineer at Multiwing. All noise sources have specific characteristics. Noise from an actual fan depends on many different things. To quantify the noise from a fan, you would ideally have to measure it with a sound level meter at a given distance. To illustrate how complex it is to measure sound, I've set up an experiment. This is a loudspeaker symbolizing a noise source, in this case an actual fan. We control the loudspeaker by means of a frequency generator. The noise coming from a fan is typically broadband noise. We generally represent this by octet bands, eight in all, ranging from 63 Hz to 8 kHz. The experiment will let you see that there are large differences in the way these frequencies behave. Let's start out with the lowest band represented by the center frequency, 63 Hz. This is a long wave sound and the effect when this propagates over a plain hard surface looks like this. We observe that there are large changes in sound pressure in the vicinity of the source. This is what we call the near field. Further away, this evens out and we should be able to measure. When I move away from the loudspeaker, the sound level varies. Moving along in a circle, in the ideal case, the sound level will remain the same. However, in real life, this is not the case. In real life, we have buildings, trees, cars, etc. that reflects the sound. This would be a common situation when you try to measure noise. Low frequency sound produced by an actual fan looks like this graphically in a real world situation. As I move to the place where the waves amplify, the sound measured is louder compared to just a few steps away, where it's much lower. When I stand right here, it is very loud. But just a few steps away, the sound has gone down significantly, even though I moved in a circle. This illustrates how difficult it can be to measure sound when there are buildings around. Now we will set the frequency generator to 1 kHz to illustrate the changes in the wave pattern. The changes in the pattern become smaller, but still there are substantial differences over a rather short distance. This makes measuring the sound very difficult when you do not have a vast amount of free space around you to avoid the influence of reflections. On the other hand, if you do have space, you still have to be very careful not to be in the near field. Even in the ideal case, the sound pressure was varying a lot. We have now illustrated some of the complexity of noise measuring. For recommendations on how to record noise emission from your product, please refer to our white paper.